Rais wa Kenya, Your Excellency, Governor Machakos, Dr. Alfred Mutua, Your Excellency, Professor Kivutha Kibwana, Governor Makueni, Mweshmiwa Cabinet Secretary, um, Dr. Matiangi, Viongozi wote ambao mafika hapa siku ya leo, hapa masi, mweaseo, Hamujambu. Yangu raisi ni machache kwa sababu tunajua huko na kazi nyingi sana. Kukurudisha tukwambie asante sana kwa kufika hapa siku ya leo. Nikiongea kawaya akiwa amemaliza kuongea, sasa sioni niongee na mna gani. Lakini niseme kweli tuko na furaha kwa sababu we raisi umefika hapa siku ya leo ili utuanzishe hii mradi ya kuandikisha watu. Kwa kweli Tumefanya mambo ya kuandikisha watu tangu mimi nilipata my ID in the year 1980. Kwa hivyo tulianza then. Lakini hai kuwa inaweza kusema mambo mengi sana. Nikiwa sasa nikitembea kwa hii muradi, mwishmiwa rais umefika hapa kuanzisha. Na mbimi ndabeba kadi moja tu na inasema mimi watoto wangu Wote ambayo wanatakikana ugu wawe ndani This is the best thing that can happen to this country Because this has happened before Your Excellency I was just thinking about you And this new ID that you are going to get To establish what you are going to do In 2013 You said yourself We are going to get out of analog And this is now where you are taking us Wale ambao hawajui pali sasa Kenya inaenda. Wewe unaturudisha nyuma sana. Tafadhali tuingie kwa hii. Na naomba kwa sababu kuko na those who are telling lies. Oh, you cannot be known who you are and trying to actually mislead and misrepresent facts. Mwishmiwa raisa wa watu. Toa Kenya. Ndiyo wanarudisha Kenya nyuma. Because siati ni watu ambao wajasoma, ni wale wamesoma sana. Na ndiyo wanaenda kuambia watu kwa sababu they have something that they want to hide. They do not want us to get this country to the right path of development. I was just asking Mweshmiwa, our chief of staff, Joseph Kinyo, I say, how would you plan a country when you say, we are approximately 40 million. What is approximate? People are known by their names, where they come from, what they do, so that government can plan properly. And therefore, Your Excellency, we are so pleased that you decided to start it here. And you are starting it in Ukamban. I was kind of wondering how it is that uh, you wanted to start it here at uh, Dr. Alfred Mutua's county. <laughs> you know, Your Excellency, there is the largest county in, among all of us. And this is why I want to bring you close to us. Kitui County is 30,570 square kilometers. Kitui County is Makueni, Machakos, Taraka Nidhi, and the embu put together. <laughs> you know, Your Excellency, by the way, it is even larger than a country called Rwanda. Therefore, if the Constitution was going to change, I would actually have been a president of one of the countries in Africa. But Your Excellency, today is not really a day to speak too much. And let me just say that you are being here. You have seen. We appreciate the support you have been giving to us as uh, counties in Ukambani. Today I said I will not ask for anything. Because there is no reason to do so. You have shown us what you want us to do. I kept on saying... Surely President Huru Kinyata has spoken all the time in my heart. When you came up, you had big four. I said, this is the way to go. You talked about health care.
that you know was my baby for a long time. You talked about food security, and I was also talking in my manifesto about food and water. Talked about manufacturing. We have started, and I will not ask you because in Kitui, we came up with something called Kitui County Textile Center. We have trained people. We are able to manufacture so much garments, and that has been sorted by your CS this morning. So I wouldn't ask you. CS Matiang has already sorted, and we will be able to manufacture uniform for our people. Then you talked about housing. Yesterday we got our title deeds, and we want to start housing for our people. We need to start moving so that you, Excellency, you can only come and see what we are doing. And therefore, finally, sisi wote tukuje pamoja. Tuseme Kenya ni yetu, na wale wanataka kuaribu Kenya, you are excellency to patee nafasi. Ya mwishu. Kwa sababu mwishmiwa, Alfred Mutua amesema kiongozi for many years. Ya excellency, we have been asking for a long time about the two-third gender. Me, yeah, I've told women to stop asking. I've said that we women must stop asking. You will not give us. We must come and remove you from those seats. Na tukalie. Nilikuwa na kina mama nikauliza, really, we women are asking them who are sitting on these seats. Look at where the president is sitting. You know, Your Excellency, I really wanted to sit on that seat. And therefore, I know it will not happen. But I did say in another meeting that we women of Kenya must come now together and form a very strong women's movement. Women ya kutoa pali tunawana kuko weak leader. Natuko na wengi, natuingisha wanawake. So that we can now put this country right. Your Excellency, that is the support we would like you to give us women so that we can put women. There are several, like here in Machakos, Your Excellency, Dr. Alfred Mutua is not running, so we are already looking at which woman is going to take this seat. <laughs> Professor Kibutha Kibwana is not running. We are also looking. So wherever we have a woman, we have a governor who is now going out, please see yes, Professor Kobia. Let us sit down. Let us hear Mark. We are not being apologetic. Your Excellency, that is what we ask of you. Thank you very much. And lastly, Namwisho, <laughs> and I'm quoting you. I'm quoting you. Your Excellency, you said, in your cabinet, your best performers are the women cabinet secretaries. We were very happy with that. And you also said, and I quote you, that you look forward to the day when Kenya is going to have a woman President. This is the year 2022. Asante san. Thank you very much.